What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I am in Miami on the rooftop, chilling at my hotel. Uh, about to head over to the gym. Uh, I have a dentist appointment later on today. I don't even know if you would say dentist. I have an oral surgery appointment later on today. And so um, depending on how that goes, that's going to determine whether or not a live stream uh, because I'm not sure what the process is. I think I got to go in and do x-rays and stuff like that. And then a couple days from now, I actually go in to start the procedure because I'm getting my pearly whites done, right? Um, but yeah, I am here in Miami and I'm taking care of some business. I'm getting that done. And so I'll be flying back and forth three to four times this month. And that should be awesome. But I want to talk to you guys specifically about uh, outgrowing your spouse and who better to talk about it than somebody that is successfully married one of the things that you know that i like to do is i like to have conversations based off of truth give you a realistic look into uh, what it takes in order to be successfully married not only from my own situation but because i coach a lot of different people uh, look at all of the fall it's pretty interesting it is very very nice here um it was 80 degrees when i landed yesterday so that was pretty awesome and then on top of that, um, Rita told me that, cause you know, she was a little bit stopped up and sick. Sick. She said that as soon as she landed, uh, when she started spending some time here within like three hours of being here, her nose completely cleared up and it was absolutely awesome. But yeah, I wanna talk to you guys. I'm gonna give you some insight on what my thoughts are. And obviously this is tied back to Derek Jackson. We know that he filed for divorce. We know that he got caught cheating like a little while ago, like a little over a year ago or some crap like that. And uh, Tasha K has been on his ass, right? But before we get into that, and before I give you the game, uh, make sure you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. And also on top of that, make sure you tap into the Patreon, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, I posted in the Patreon today, an update on New Year's Eve in Miami. So I want you guys to be able to tap into that. Uh, so that I can add as much value as possible. And on top of that, make sure that I'm enjoying and spending time with you guys. Uh, it is a very important update and I think you guys need to tap into that as soon as possible uh, so I can make sure that you guys are properly equipped and prepared for what it is to come. And it's gonna be absolutely a phenomenal time, all right? But um, in addition to that, can you outgrow your spouse? I don't know why people think that is different in your relationship than it is in everyday life, right? And I say this often at times, I say that the person that you lay next to every day is the most important financial, emotional, and business decision that you'll ever make in your entire life. I mean, it is the determining factor sometimes between whether or not you're gonna be rich or poor. Whether you're gonna have success within you know, your household, your kids, whether you can grow a business, everything, right? And so it's not the house that you buy, it's not the car that you drive, it's not the business that you start. The most important financial decision from a business perspective, as well as from an emotional, professional, uh, personal, however you wanna frame it, is who it is that you lay next to every day, right? And we always talk about how sometimes we need to leave family alone and, um, you know, leave your environment. And sometimes you need to get a new job and all of that. And so, you know, the same way that I hold people accountable, or I'm, I'm objective enough to be able to identify the problem areas and which people need to make adjustments to in order to be successful is the same way that I look at relationships, which is why I say from a man's perspective, and instinctively from a woman's perspective, and we'll get into that in a minute, from a man's perspective, being married is business first. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't have love and romance and enjoy the person that you're with and all of that, but you also have to take into consideration the fact that people are not looking at it from a business perspective is one of the reasons why they get washed. It's the reason why you end up in family court. It's the reason why you can't vet, vet effectively. The same way as to determine whether or not you went and got the wrong degree and you in the wrong field or you got the wrong job and you know, you you spending time in the wrong environments and they not allowing you to grow. I tell y'all, divest yourself against the people that's not adding value into your life. I don't care if it's family, I don't care if it's your mama, I don't care if it's your homies that you grew up with. They will have you broke. They will have you Michael Vicked. They will have you, um, you know, in a bad space in your life. They will have you MC Hammered. 
and we see it all the time. We see these artists, these entertainers, we see people that say, yeah, man, I tried to take the hood with me and they took me down or all this type of, type of stuff. Or when things got rough, we seen Fat, Fat Joe talk about it. Uh, people was only around me when I had money and all of that. It's the same thing when it comes to relationships. Now, Derek Jackson specifically, uh, you know, based off of what we know, married his childhood sweetheart and they grew up together. They wasn't popping together. And I mean, you can't really be popping as a teenager unless you're a Disney kid, but you're going to eventually grow. You're going to grow into whatever it is that you're going to be. And you're not going to be the same person that you was yesterday as you are today, let alone 10 years from now. They call you a groom for a reason because you have to continue to refine what it is that you're surrounding yourself with and pull the people along with you. Now, some people choose not to go that way and they want to grow in a completely different direction. It makes it a little bit more complicated when you have kids and that's the one caveat. Nobody trips when it's just a relationship or sometimes they do when it's a celebrity. Nobody really trips when it's just a relationship. But when you got young kids, that's the one thing because we know that the kids didn't ask to be here and they're largely going to be the biggest ones that are affected by what goes on in a relationship. And so, you know, it's important for men to have big discipline. It's important for men to move a specific type of way because as you grow, as you become more successful, as you get more money, as you get more visibility, there will be things that come in your life that you will have to overcome. But for me in particular, you can't tempt me with something that I'm not interested in because I always pray for character. Now let's bring it back to the original question. Can you outgrow your spouse? absolutely people do it every single day and that's why they wind up getting divorced some outgrow them some just get emotional but we are talking about out um, outgrowing your spouse she was still talking about the helmet of righteousness and online which that is his responsibility and his fault because if she's gonna be submissive to him which I don't know the dynamics of the relationship if she's gonna be submissive to him then that means that she's also a reflection of him so then he gets all of the benefits and the accolades that come along with Whatever it is that she brings to the table, whatever deals that she uh, she secures, when he goes into a room and there's rooms that you can't get into unless you marry, he gets all of the benefits that come along with it. But at the same time, you can't absolve yourself from getting everything that goes along with it on the other side. And there's so many different ways in which you mine this out. You can say that when uh, women um, instinctively have always looked at business as a relationship, even though they're emotional because they're uh, they're they're hypergamous. They look for the best available option and their number one uh, reasoning for getting into a relationship is provision and protection. That's looking for looking at it from a business perspective. And so don't get emotional about it, play the game. And you also have to consider what it is that you're getting yourself into. Me, I have a sense of loyalty. I think that my wife is absolutely awesome. I'm never getting divorced. She's always gonna be with me. We have a great, great relationship, phenomenal kid. Um, everything is awesome. On the flip side, I also make sure that I look at things from a business perspective, which which allows for me to remove the emotion and continue to tell her the truth. And she tells me the truth, which allows us to continue to grow together. I'm her groom. I am a person that is always pushing her, pulling her along with me. And she gives me the truth that allows for me to make more informed decisions. And that's the dynamics of how a relationship is supposed to go. You can outgrow your spouse. And so it's important for you to make sure that you always mindful of what you're getting yourself into, but more importantly, stay focused on what your current circumstances are so you can make adjustments and you don't find yourself in a situation like Derrick Jackson, right? Things happen, people make mistakes, uh, people get into situationships, people cheat and all that other type of stuff, right? Not me, but people do it. I see it every single day. I, I coach a lot of different people. It don't mean that you can't come back from it, but you also have to be authentic in who it is that you are and be absolutely real. And that way you can always remedy a situation, but you can't come back from being fake. You cannot come back from being fake. And that's his one problem. He never had the character that allowed for him to be able to grow in a situation. And now he out here thotting and bopping publicly and having these hoes taking pictures. And then you got Tasha K up here posting it on her web. It's, it's stupid. It's dumb. All right. So listen, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm about to head over to the gym before I head over to my dentist appointment. Um, I have some work to do. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Subscribe to Don't Cook, uh, <laughs> Don't Do Coke in the Bathroom, which is which is the link to my new channel. Um, I love you. I appreciate you tapping to the Patreon. I'm out. Peace.